what is up guys in this video what we're going to do is we're going to learn about derived class constructors and destructors so what i've done over here is i've created my two classes mother.h file and mother.cpv file this is my this is going to be my base class that is mother and this right here is going to be my derived class and I've named this class as daughter and it has two files daughter.h file where all the registrations and prototypes will take place and this is my daughter.cpp file where all the body work will take place so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go in my mother.h file and by default I guess this destructor is not here so if you don't have this type this so that your program will work in perfect way so this is basically my prototype for constructor and this right here is my prototype for destructor or deconstructor or whatever people some people said deconstructor so that's not even a word but it doesn't matter as long as you understand it so where were we we were at destructor so this was your constructor prototype and this was your destructor prototype and remember that we are in our mother.h file mother.h file there we go now is the time to move to our mother.cpp file and what i've done over here is i've just in the body i've just written a c out statement that this is a mother constructor and this is a mother destructor so this is the body of my mother constructor and this is the body of my mother destructor and to distinguish that this little tilde right here shows that this is a destructor and not a constructor and before moving on i just wanted to stress you guys that make sure all your .cpp files look the same include io stream include mother.h, daughter.h and using namespace std so my main.cpp will look the same my mother.cpp will look the same and my daughter.cpp will look the same and one more thing when i'm going to use my daughter class and i'm going to inherit the stuff from the mother class this file right here is very important i'm going to include mother.h because this is the class what i'm going to inherit from and this colon and what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna type the colon and I'm gonna type public and what was my class name was mother so now that we have typed this public and mother the name of the derived class now remember we are now in our daughter.h file and to connect your daughter.h file to the mother class what we did was we simply included this regular colon we typed in public and we typed in the class name and all the rest remains the same and this is the other thing that I would like to point on line number three I'm gonna include mother.h so this thing right here and this thing right here is what connects my daughter class to my mother class so by default I have my daughter constructor prototype and my daughter destructor prototype and when i'm gonna go in my daughter.cpp file you look that uh, what i've written is i've written out i am a daughter constructor and i am a daughter destructor and again the still this shows that this is a destructor that's the identity i mean that's how you identify that this is a constructor or a destructor just by this little tilde over here so i'm gonna go in my main and i'm gonna type i'm not gonna create a mother object because my mother class is virtually connected to my daughter class and my daughter is inheriting the stuff from the mother so i am expecting that my mother constructor and de destructor my mother constructor and destructor listen very carefully what i'm about to say what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna type my class name that is daughter and d o b j i'm gonna create this object and if i go and build and run let's see what happens and then I'll, i'm gonna explain 
what is actually happening behind the scenes so I'm gonna go and build and run and there we go it prints out this is the mother constructor and then it prints out I am a daughter constructor and then it prints out I am a daughter destructor and this is the mother destructor now you can notice that it calls out the mother constructor first and the very first constructor it runs from the mother class that mother classes destructor runs in the very last right here so this is my base class constructor and this is my base class destructor and you can notice how my daughter constructor and destructor is kind of like sandwiched in between so this is actually what is happening behind the scenes what happens is although you have not called your you have not called explicitly your mother constructor but your since your mother class is connected to your daughter class and your daughter class in, is inheriting all the stuff from the mother class that's why when the program first executed it called out the mother constructor and the and the daughter class called its own constructor and destructor and then when the the destructor was destroyed when the objects gets destroyed then it finally destroys the mother object also it's kind of like if i show you over here this is your mother this right here is your mother and this right here is your daughter now notice how your mother is kind of like creating a boundary with her arms and the daughter is or the baby is in between her arms so let's say if it was the mother's mother like the grandmother of this daughter so that grandmother would be right here and her arms would spread like this whoa 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 like this I hope you get the concept it's kind of like the very first base class that runs that class's constructor runs over here and that class's destructor runs at the very last and that is how it's the actually the chain is happening the constructor runs the very first base class constructor runs since we are not talking about the grandmother right now so I'm just gonna keep it simple the mother constructor runs first and then the daughter constructor runs first and I'm gonna show in this red the daughter destructor runs first and then at last the mother destructor runs so that is actually how we are doing things here so back to our compiler and what if I go and let me change some things what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create my mother object so I'm gonna type M O T H E R mother and M O B J and let's see what happens let's experience what happens now now I'm gonna go and build and run and see it prints out this is the mother constructor this is the mother constructor now remember this by looking at this you may be confused a bit but I'm gonna highlight this so this is actually this line 10 right here and what is happening in line number 9 as soon as I created my mother mobj this is the mother constructor this constructor right here gets called and when the mobj is destroyed the destructor runs right over here and in between in between these lines is what is happening in line number 10 the daughter dobj see what i mean or you can put it this way now i'm gonna now focus on these lines now remember i'm gonna remove this line number nine and this what i've highlighted over here is gonna remain here and these two lines the first line and the last line is going to be removed as soon as I remove my line number nine so there we go first I'm gonna close this program and the next I'm gonna remove this line backspace and then I'm gonna build and run it again now you see this is a mother constructor 
and I am a daughter constructor I am a daughter destructor and this is the mother destructor so that what happens in inheritance now I'm gonna walk through one last time what we did was we came in our mother dot h file we created our we basically prototype the constructor and destructor we build this constructor and destructor right here and we went in our daughter dot h file and we connected our daughter dot h file to the mother class and as soon as we connect this and whenever we create our daughter object it's gonna call the mother constructor and destructor first it's gonna take care of the mother first and then it's gonna take care of her herself how weird is that no, I cannot even talk so what I mean to say is it's kind of like a chain and in our daughter.cpp we have our daughter's own constructor and destructor so that is your tutorial for derived constructor and destructors and the concept may sound confusing in first but when you practice eventually things will melt and you will understand the concept and what is actually happening behind the scenes and you can create cool programs in future when you understand this concept of inheritance and derived class constructors and destructors and to give you a little motivation here's the fact of the day here's the T studios or Toha studios fact of the day a lot of your fighter jets your F-35 and other fighter jets most of these computers of these fighter jets are progra programmed in C++ language how cool is that huh so that's it for now guys please like and subscribe please be nice and please forgive me if I did any mistakes I'll definitely check and recheck again and I'll tell my friends to watch these tutorials and find any mistakes so that later on I can edit them out. So you guys study this tutorial and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one.